Hi, hi, hi. How are you? How are you? Hey, look, I um, I am I am running late. Uh, I've just had too much fun time with Jesus today, and um, so I apologize that I'm going to multitask. Okay, but this the Holy Spirit is on this so intensely that I can't not go live. Okay, listen. The word today is cut it out. Someone needs to know today. The Lord's asking you, cut it out, put it down. Get the foxes out, cut it out, block it, block them, break up, do what you need to do. There's things, I don't know who this is going to speak to. It's going to speak to a lot of people, I'm sure, in your own way. The Holy Spirit is going to help you understand if this word is for you and what specifically he's asking you to do. You've probably been being nudged for a while. You've probably been sensing in your spirit for a while, but you've been resistant to it because how many of you know that our flesh is resistant to the spirit, our flesh, our carnal nature, our, our natural nature, our pre-born again nature? is has is a proclivity to sin it gravitates towards sin it's it's disobedient to the ways of god and and i love you so much the lord loves you so much this is a, a message of love this is no condemnation okay but the heart of our lord needs you to know today that there's things in your life that you need to cut out you need to not just prune you know to tend not to water not to not to um uh, garden and see what happens. There's things in your life that you literally need to take the shears out or those big clipper things and cut it out of your life. Cut it out, throw it away, cast it out. Whatever it is, the Holy Spirit's going to tell you what it is. You might need to put some blockages and boundaries up, okay, so that you don't gravitate towards it. You might need to burn a plow of some sort. The Lord's going to speak to you and tell you what this means for your life, whoever needs to hear this, okay? But there might be plows that you need to burn so that you don't have a a, um, a desire to go back to it as you're following the ways and the, and the, and the will of God, okay? And you're going to encounter hardship in your life. You're going to encounter difficulties and storms, okay? Uh, Jesus is disciples did that so who are we to think that we're going to have this easy peasy path no no no. the enemy is coming after those who are relentlessly pursuing god and so when the warfare escalates okay yeah when the warfare escalates it is an indication that the lord is is if you are right where the lord wants you but be still he's gonna fight for you the angel armies of heaven are surrounding you you need not be afraid okay so i need to speak to somebody right now and say be bold and courageous be bold and courageous like moses told joshua over and over and over and over and over again be bold and courageous you need not be afraid you have not been given a spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind okay so continue to walk that narrow path but you're gonna need to cut things out in Jesus name I don't know what this means for you but get the shears get the scissors and cut it out cut it out cut it down cut it down remove the root okay dig deep remove that root so it doesn't grow back out again remove the root in your heart this might mean pornography for somebody oh I know I don't usually prophesy to this um, precision I usually let the Lord just speak to you but but sometimes we have to say mm, all right that's a confirmation word the lord been since it was saying that to me but then she just said it so now i can't ignore it it is what it is if it's pornography set the boundary self-control is a fruit of the spirit okay and if you're struggling with self-control it's a practice so get some accountability around you download the app or whatever so you can protect your eye gate so those things don't seep into the, the eyes of the lamp to your soul what we look at goes deep into our soul and it affects us and it infects us and when we get heart sick because of the things that we're looking at we need to make the decision to cut it out in jesus name Maybe that means an addiction for somebody. Maybe somebody has this addiction and it's in the quiet. You don't think it's that big of a deal. You know, it's not illegal or it, it's, 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 you know, is that really, I mean, is God really going to be mad at me for that? No, no, no. It's not about God being mad at you. It's not about condemnation. It's not about whether or not it's legal. The, the word of God says multiple times that all things permissible, not all things beneficial, all things um, permissible, which means you're permitted to do anything. Okay. Paul writes writes this. I don't know. You have to look it up. Uh, Paul, Paul writes this. Uh, you could do anything. Yes, you have the gift of free will, but that doesn't mean you should. 
That doesn't mean you should. It doesn't mean it's beneficial, advantageous, or profitable for you. So if it's not profitable for your spirit, if it's not producing the fruit of the spirit, then that is an addiction that needs to be cut out in the name of Jesus. You will overcome by the blood of the, the, the lamb and the word of our testimony. Get around people who have, have experienced victory and freedom in those areas so that you can lean on them in times of weakness, okay? Nope, I'm going to retract that. You lean on Jesus in your time of weakness. You allow Holy Spirit to minister to your heart. But it is good to reach up to heaven and out to a friend. It's good to reach up to heaven, come on, and out to a friend who has overcome what you are, are looking to overcome. That's right. You've been called more than a conqueror in Jesus' name. That means that you are not only going to overcome whatever addiction, whatever thing, you know, it's in the quiet, it's not illegal or is illegal, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. It's only sometimes cut it out cut it out it's not good for your spiritual self it's not good for your new life in Christ cut it out the Lord has so much more for you friend the Lord has so much more for you let me tell you something if you like the high of marijuana you like the high of the pills you like the high of whatever it is that you're that you're leaning towards that you lean on to give you energy or whatever it is or to calm you down listen to me right now friend listen to me right now in Jesus name Holy Spirit is like our best medicine okay I, I am telling you, I am telling you as a born again, Holy Spirit, Spirit filled believer, I'm telling you as a witness to so many people's stories, as a person that gets to the honor and the privilege of seeing front row or behind the scenes, listen, the life of empowerment of the Holy Spirit is so much better. I have never, ever, ever heard. I have never heard a born again, Holy Spirit filled believer who has overcome any kind of addiction, okay, say, you know, Holy Spirit's great, but that marijuana was so much better. I've never heard anyone say that. It's just, it just doesn't happen, okay? I've never heard anyone say, yeah, you know, I'm so, I'm so thankful the Lord just gave me a new life. Uh, you know, he's, he set me free. But, but to be honest with you, like, yeah, drinking was just way better. I've never heard a born again, Holy Spirit filled, like made new, saved, healed, delivered and set free believer that, that that overcame any of these things actually say that those things were better than the Holy Spirit and the new life in Christ ever, ever. So let me assure you today, as you've been Jesus and marijuana, Jesus and pornography, Jesus and drinking, Jesus and sex outside of marriage, Jesus and all these things. Let me tell you something today. This is the Lord saying he loves you. He loves you. He loves you so much. Yeah, he sees what you're doing. Yeah, he doesn't agree. No, he's not mad at you. No, you're not too filthy. No, you're not too far away. No, you, no he, you're not outside of his grace. You, he wants, he wants you to pull him into himself and put those things down at his feet and say, you know, Jesus, I'm, I repent. I'm going to turn away from these things. I'm going to trust that you're going to heal me, that you're going to take away these desires, that you're going to bring me into new life, that you're going to fulfill my heart in ways that all these other substances and things cannot ever do. In Jesus name, in Jesus name, he's saying, cut it out, put it down, get rid of the little foxes. That are that are spoiling the vine, that are that are gnawing away at you. Get get rid of those those little critters in your heart, those little demons. You know, oh, I know, I said the word. Deal with it. It's what it is. It's demonic, meaning it's not from the Lord. It's not angelic. It's not heavenly. It's not new life. It's demonic. So get it out. Get it out. Pull it out. Say, like, see it, like ask the Lord to show it to you. And you speak to that thing and you say, you're gone in Jesus name. You're evicted from my heart. You are no longer welcome here. Get out of my mind. Get out of my heart. Get out the desire for whatever it is that you need to cut out the sin that so easily entangles, so easily entangles. We so creatively try and justify our fleshly desires and, and, and what we're gravitating towards. But you know, when you live in the center of God's will, when you are willing to put your will down for his will, which is obviously better. Hello, he's God, creator and maker of all things, including you, the air in your lungs, the beat in your chest, all because of him. He knows better. 
He knows better. He knows better. His ways are better than your ways. You know it. You know it. You know it. You already know it. Cut it out. Put it down. Cut it out. Put it down. Break up. Move away from. Repent from. Oh, oh, okay. So crash or smash. I hear glass crashing and smashing. That's probably like bongs and pipes and stuff. Smash it, crash it. Smash it, crash it. Burn the plow. I don't know what that means. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. I'm not talking about marijuana or whatever it else is, is that you burn. Just get rid of it. Don't go back to it. Do not go back to it. Don't go back to it. In Jesus' name, he's saying, don't go back to it. Put it down once and for all. Put it down. Cut it out. No more. No more. Victory in Jesus' name. New life today in Jesus' name. Come on. New life today for somebody in Jesus' name. Yeah, today is your day. Today is your rebirth day. Today is your, today is your great awakening day. Today is the day that you say, oh, Lord, I'm in. I'm in all the way in. I'm in for all of it. I'm in for it. I'm in for you. I'm in. I'm following you. All cost. All cost. No matter what it takes. No matter what you ask from me, I will do gladly. I will I will give. I will give up. I will give it. I will give up. I will give it up to you. I'm not gonna give in to the thing. I'm not gonna give in to the person. I'm not gonna give in to the sin. I'm not gonna give in to the addiction. I'm gonna give it up to you, Jesus. Put it down at his feet and walk away. Don't pick it back up again in Jesus' name. No, 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 no. You're made new. You're made new. He says, put it down, put it down. Don't pick it back up. He's going to lead you to people and places, things, resources, help, okay, that will assist you so you can get some momentum. Ultimately, you reach up to heaven and then you reach out to other people. You don't depend on other people first and heaven second. No, heaven first, other people second. Allow the Holy Spirit filled born again believers and the people that have been more than conquerors and overcomers because that will be you one day when you have overcome something. Come on. When you have overcome something, when you have put something down, you are now given us an authority. Okay. That's where it says in scripture that when you are tempted, I, Jesus says, I will provide a way out so that you will stand up over it. Meaning it's underneath your feet. Okay? It is the platform for which you stand on to speak and to declare to other people who are under it because you're over it now because you're more than a conqueror. You've not only overcome something yourself, but you will be put in a position where you will help other people overcome too. That's what it means in scripture when it says you are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. So let's get you going. Let's get you in that place. Reach up to heaven and out to other people who have put it underneath their feet feet that will help you up so that it'll also be underneath your feet and that you will testify and declare to the glory and the goodness of God and say, I was once addicted to these things and it is no more. The Lord delivered me from that in Jesus name. And then you'll get to help other people. You know what? There's a sign of a sinner that's not yet been delivered and saved when they have had some sort of sin in their life and they won't talk about it. They don't want other people to know about it. You know what I'm talking about? The addicts that are like, mm, I don't want anyone to know that, like, you know, that I was a, a, a drug addict, an alcoholic. I, I don't want anyone to know that. You know, that can discredit my business. That can discredit, you know, that they'll think differently of me. They'll, they'll judge me. Okay, so that's, that's, that's an indication that you have not been fully healed, that you have not been fully saved, that you have not been born again, made new. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you this from experience. I've seen it. I've walked with people. I pastor people. For the last several years, this is just this is just how it works, okay? Uh, or, or um, oh, yeah, the other one is like any infidelity or uh, adultery or whatever. Oh no, I don't want anyone to know that. Like, I can't share that with anyone. Like, you know, they're gonna think differently of me. Whatever. Listen, a born again, saved, healed, delivered, set free, Holy Spirit filled person it will speak like Paul does. I will boast all the more gladly in my weaknesses. For when I was weak, he was strong. He's stronger than that. I have overcome those things. Let me tell you about who I once was and who I am no longer. That's that. Though, that's the language of a saved, healed, delivered, set free, born again, made new person. When they boast all the more gladly about who they once were. They say, you know what? I, I know about this. I know about what it's like to, to uh, scroll and, and to see things that I shouldn't be seeing when I'm married. I know what it's like to 
um, have this closet thing hidden away that no one really knows about. And, you know, I mean, it's just kind of something I do every now and again when I feel this or when I have this void or when I when I want to feel a certain kind of way that I, I partake in these things. But, you know, it's like when you when you let go of that, when you cut it out, when you when you overcome those things, okay, then you tell people like, I get it, man. Like I was there, girl. Like I, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be in your 20s and living a sin soaked life and getting super drunk so that you do things and you feel less badly about it and 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 you're you 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 desire for that closeness you desire for intimacy okay because that's a natural holy spirit god desire that he puts in us and yet we outwork that in really negative ways or you know i just want to be liked so i'm going to wear certain clothes and 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 i'm going to try and look a certain way and i'm going to wear as little as i can but you know and justify it in all these ways and or I'm going to be super overly obsessed with my health and my weight and my fitness or whatever because that's an idol in my life. Like You can be as creative as you want to. Put it down. Cut it out. The Lord is going to speak to you through my voice today. And he's saying, look, I might sound passionate. You might hear the passion in my voice, the passion of Holy Spirit through this. But I'm telling you, it is, it is such a love. It is love. It is his love for you. It is his love for you. He loves you so deeply. He has so much more for you. He has a better life for you. He has a better way for you. He has, if you're not married and you're fooling around, he has a wife, a wife of, of virtue, a wife of noble character. You will find when you're walking in alignment with his way and his will. You don't need to mess around with the floozy doozies. Girls, oh my goodness, you are compromising. You're saying, oh, and you're having all these doubts and the enemy's working on your mind. Well, I, you know, I'm getting older and, and I, I just, I'm not sure if I can find the man of God that I've been praying and believing and preparing for. And so, you know, this guy seems all right and he treats me well and he pays attention to me. And, and, you know, you know, I, I, I you know, I mean, it's just, it's, I don't really want anyone to know that I'm living out in sin. I don't really, I don't even really want to admit that that's sin myself because, you know, I, it's fulfilling a desire and a, and a hole in my heart. Stop it, girlfriend. I'm speaking from authority and experience. Stop it. Put it down. Cut it out. 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 Block. Delete. It's his love for you. He has so much better. Trust, 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 trust. He says, do you trust me? Do you trust me with your whole life? Do you trust me beyond Savior? Do you trust me as your Lord? The, Jesus wants to know, do you trust me as your Lord? Will you give me everything, every area, your finance, your business, your ministry, your schooling, your degree, your health, your fitness, your wealth, your family, your kids? Will you give me everything everyone will you trust me will you trust me the lord wants to know will you trust me and 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 if you do then cut it out cut it out in jesus name i trust that the holy spirit said what he needed to say to the people he needed to say it to today and if there's any way that i heather could be praying with you and celebrating your victory with you today i'd be honored if you would reach out to see how this word impacted you. I will pray with you and celebrate with you. And I also commit to helping you navigate freedom. And if there's additional assistance and pastoral care that you need through any of these things, I will, I'll do anything I can, anything I can to help you get connected with who and what and where you need to get connected with, okay? I am so late, but this was so worth it. So until next time, God bless.